Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm back. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I put out a, uh, a video, and there's a few reasons for that. Um, primarily, is just I just haven't had the time. Um, I, uh, I got a new job that has been great. Uh, it's been going very well. I mean, it's been almost three years now, but uh, it just slowly started uh, making it harder for me to, to find the time to skate enough to film these videos and on top of that uh, my old laptop was just very slowly dying um, which made editing these videos even more difficult. All that to say uh, I, I, I have a brand new uh, computer that I'm uh, now streaming on. I'll get to that in a bit but um, uh, yeah hopefully I'm going to be trying to get videos out at least a bit more frequently. I don't know how often but um, you know, anytime I have the footage and I have the inclination. So let's not stand on, on ceremony here. Um, the point of this video is I just got a chance to go to Montreal for uh, a little under a week. Uh, Deanna was there for work and I got a chance to tag along. And uh, whenever I had some free time and she was busy doing, you know, post work, work stuff, I, uh, I found the time to go skate. So I got a chance to check out uh, Vans Park in uh, Montreal at the Olympic Stadium and uh, Spin Skate Park in Brossal. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll cut straight to the footage from those and uh, then we'll meet back here. What is up everybody? I'm back after a very long hiatus, but I'm in Montreal for the week. Um, Deanna had to come here for work. I was able to work remote. And so today on my lunch break, because we have one kind of nice day, uh, I'm checking this place out. That's right, we are at the Vans Skate Park in Montreal at the Olympic Park. Uh, I'm so psyched to finally be checking this park out. Um, I'm gonna try and just get as many tricks as I can here. So let's see what we can get. Alright everyone, it is day two in Montreal, or I guess technically we're in Brossard, uh, and we are at... Here at Spin Skate Park. Um, really cool indoor park, probably the only skate park I've ever seen that's in a strip mall. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna skate around, and maybe film some for Instagram, and we'll see how it goes.
So that was uh, my Montreal skate trip in a nutshell. Um, before anyone asks, yes, I did see the Big O. I did skate the Big O. Um, it's really hard to skate. Um, and any footage that I got there, you can find in the upcoming part for the uh, follow-up to Street Losers. Uh, Street Losers was the video I did with a couple of buddies of mine last year. And we're putting out Street Losers 2 very, very soon. Um, keep an eye out. I'll... I'll uh, be sure to let everyone know the details for when that's coming out. Yeah, both both the uh, the parks were really fun. Um, Vans, I love how they incorporated uh, the natural architecture of the Olympic Esplanade into the layout of the park. There's parts of it that are very beginner friendly and parts of it that are very uh, sort of intermediate. I didn't touch the bowl because the bowl was so gnarly. I was there by myself. I, I you know, the last thing I wanted to do was wind up in a Quebecois hospital. Definitely love to go check it out again. Um, the weather was surprisingly nice, but I can't imagine what it would be like if it's like, you know, 20, 30 degrees. The spin was so interesting. Um, it's the only skate park I've ever seen that was sort of built into a strip mall like that. Um, fantastic use of space. Uh, everything was so fun to skate. Um, uh, the, the upstairs, the street course, uh, it felt like like that must be what it's like to skate the barracks. That's the only the only way I can possibly describe it. I spent way too much time uh, trying to board slide the little three stair down rail that they have set up there. Um, I don't have any of the footage because it was it was all bunts. I didn't even stand up on one, um, but that's on me. That's something I got to work on. But all in all, I I definitely plan to go back to both parks. Uh, Deanne and I are already talking about going back to Montreal sometime in the summer. Just for a long weekend or something. So uh, there's a very good chance that you're gonna see some more skating uh, from me out that way uh, in the in the not so distant future. Yeah, that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. Um, if, if you're, you're still watching, uh, thanks for sticking around. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be trying to upload a little more regularly, so be sure to subscribe, um, you know, 
uh, to keep updated. Go follow me on Instagram. It's where most of my uh, social media presence is. Uh, I'm also on Blue Sky, uh, uh, at Brandon Draga, if you happen to be over there. Uh, finally, I started uh, Twitch streaming, as I mentioned at the top of the video. I, uh, I go live every, every Tuesday and Sunday. Uh, Tuesdays, I typically play fighting games. Sundays, I play skateboarding games. Some good, some bad, uh, some somewhere in between. Twitch.tv uh, slash the boneless one, the underscore boneless one. Uh, I'll have that on the screen here and in the doobly doo. And yeah, just, you know, come hang out while I play video games and try not to uh, suck at them too bad. Anyway, this has been uh, the first video back, and I, I really hope to promise that it's not going to be the last. So, until next time, take care of yourselves and keep skating hard.